A Bay Area manhunt for a suspect accused of trying to kill a police officer tonight. The secret spy tool they used to hunt him down. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba found out how the crime fighting tool is being used and why it's under so much scrutiny. Andrea? Well, the use of stingrays and what data they collect have mostly been hush hush by law enforcement, triggering lawsuits from the ACLU and Electronic Frontier Foundation about privacy. Tonight, though, a case right out of the Bay Area is showing us more about stingrays and the methods officers use when deploying them. It was January 21st, 2013, when OPD was looking for Purvis Ellis, accused of attempted murder on an Oakland officer. As the search went on, OPD tried to track Ellis's cell phone with this device called a stingray. It's a wireless intercept device. They work just like a mini cell phone tower. Security expert Andrew Beckerer told our Kristen Ayers in 2015 this about stingrays. I can fool your device into believing that I am your wireless carrier. In 2015, Governor Jerry Brown signed a law saying law enforcement agencies in California must obtain a warrant to use a stingray. In 2013, it was a legal gray area for OPD, who court documents revealed did not have a Stingray warrant in the search for Ellis. OPD's Stingray may not have been technologically advanced enough to find Ellis, and detectives called in the FBI. KPIX 5 security analyst Jeff Harp says the feds require a warrant to use the Stingray. The Department of Justice, if any of our subsidiaries, DEA, FBI, ATF, U.S. Marshals, if we're going to use this technology, let's go through a process where we get a warrant for that. So whatever we collect, we it's good to go. Ellis ultimately surrendered after the FBI stingray with 4G compatibility pinpointed him to a two-block radius. Documents regarding the stingray's use in this case were ordered unsealed by the U.S. magistrate presiding over Ellis's case, the same place the FBI calls to get warrants for stingrays. You can call a magistrate, they're on, you know, they're on call 24 hours. So you, if it's on a weekend and there's a kidnapping and you need to use, you know, stingray. Now this document released in the case is still very preliminary. The documents were requested by the defense to build their case. There are still months to go before Ellis's case even gets a trial date. In the newsroom, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.